I graciously hand it over. To our new morning show partner, or my new morning show partner will be uh, the Greg Giannotti. F you. Uh, oh, you're screwed, Gio, already. The bad morale and everything else. But listen, I got to tell you something. Uh, you were great. You came in here and uh, you, you basically sat in here in a very, very difficult situation. Uh, you made my life easier, which I so certainly appreciate. You're a Long Islander just like me. People probably out there can't believe that somebody from East Islip and Bellport can actually work together. Yep. But congratulations, man. Thank you very much. And uh, this is its the moment of all moments for me. There's some people who, you know, go up, grow up in this business or have an idea what their top level thing is. And, and, and this is it. And I couldn't be happier to work with you guys being what I think is the best crew in radio. This is going to be an exciting time. And I have all the emotions running through me now. And, and, and they're all good. And. And I'm just really happy that I'm not the fattest new hire, thanks to Chris Carlin. <laughs> That's so great. That, is, That's perfect. That, that is a that is a good thing. But no, this is this is the mo one of the most exciting times of my life. I got to be careful because my wife is watching, so I can't put that ahead of marriage. I could tell you it was a big deal. No, you could, I could tell. You could actually. <laughs> you know why? You know why? You got rid of the chess king sweaters. I appreciate that. That's fine. Well, Chernoff told me he goes, "Can you put on a nice shirt for tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that for once? I mean, yep. you look like a slob." <laughs> you know, but the one thing, Greg, I got to tell you that uh, Al, Eddie, Bobby, and, and Jerry, especially Jerry, basically have been, uh, I mean, been the foundation of this this radio station and this, this particular show over the last six or seven weeks. And we all wondered what we were going to do. And th these are not easy times. No. This is not, I mean, we're celebrating you and we're celebrating your opportunity and you sitting in a very, very big chair and, and trying to do what you do and do it great. Yeah, and it's not, I don't... Yeah, it is about me today, right? It like is. People will say that, but it's really it not. It's about the show. It's about the radio station. It's about this show remaining great, and I know that it will. And to come into a situation like this, people will say, well, it's got to be difficult because, you know, this show was so successful for so long, and now people are going to compare mm -hmm. you to what the show used to be. And I said, well, yeah, sure, that stuff's going to happen. But how many people can walk into a situation that you have all these guys that are so great at what they do, they're established, and they're hard workers, and they care, and they want you to be there? And not everybody gets that opportunity to do that. So I am, I am very, very lucky, and I can't wait to get this started. I don't even know when it's going to start yet. That's, that's they haven't told yeah, us we either. haven't. We don't know. No, we don't even know. Either. Actually, TV was just asking me. So if you know, if anybody knows, <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> is it is it the twenty seventh of November? Is it December fourth? Yeah, really is it sure January second? Uh, I think it's I think it's Boomer and Geo in the morning. I think that's what it's going to be called. At least that's what they ran by me, and I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, Do you have a problem with that? No, I don't have a problem with that. Horrendous. Yeah, that's what I thought too. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I appreciate what, that. What did you want him to sing? I don't know. You know, I Giannotti in the football player. Yeah, let me ask you, how do you feel? I, I mean, feel I, fine. I mean, because you've been like, you've been been like the ultimate for professional two months. Thing. I have sat here and told people that yes. this is not I know, permanent. No, 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 I know. Listen, but no one way. listens. But I so listen. I'm good. The and problem is, is that you're what, good at what you do. Here's what makes it easy. I like him. Right. It's easy. It's all good. Yeah, but it's not like, like you're going to be a part of this whole thing. You're not right, going which anywhere. Which is why it's fine. And that microphone is always on. That microphone is always there for you. You got something to say. You want to say it when you're not doing enough. You're it's all. You're always welcome in here. You know that. I'm good. Yeah, and and I need to. I know we joke around and we we bust chops all the time. And people would ask me, you know, is is Jerry nice to you off the air? And what does Jerry think? And I'm like, you don't understand. Like I've known Jerry for a really long time. You sir, die. <laughs> we worked together for a long time, so it's it's, it's great, and we laugh. At about that, but Jerry couldn't been couldn't have been more of a pro throughout this entire Drop thing. Dead. No, you know? no, no, so, Eddie, no, Eddie. <laughs> so he, uh, and I believe him. I'm usually a good like a, I got a good BS detector. And I and sent you a nice text yesterday. You did. You absolutely oh, did. Good. You absolutely did. You know, I think the thing for you was just making sure you knew that you could feel comfortable in here. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's not. I mean, look. Let's face it. Let's not dismiss what really you're doing. You're replacing Craig Carton. Yeah, and Craig Carton. I believe in my heart will be back on the radio. I don't know when that will be, but he will be back someday, and he'll be back better than ever because of probably another experience that he's undergoing right now. Yeah. And, you know, I don't like to talk about it because I don't. I think it just makes it worse <clears throat> for him because I know what this this day kind of signifies to him. You know what I mean? And that's the hard part. That's because that's we have a friend that's dealing with something that is significant and real, 
and yet we're over here trying to do what we do best, and that's do a radio show. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to share this or not, but I feel like it's it's right to do so. So yesterday, um, when this started to get out a little bit more and the announcement was going to be made, I was getting a lot of phone calls and texts, and a number came across that I didn't recognize, and I immediately declined the phone call and got a text message that said, Greg, give me a chance, or uh, give me a call when you get a chance, Craig. So I said, okay, you know, I'm assuming that this is this is Craig Carton, and I called him back, and he was as unbelievably nice as you could possibly be and positive about this whole thing. And I don't know what he thinks privately as opposed to what he's saying to me on the phone, but I'll tell you one thing. He was about as class of an act as you could possibly be, and uh, it really meant a whole heck of a lot to me because of the situation that he's in and what he's dealing with, and it can't be easy if I try to put myself in his shoes and watching something that he loved you know, go into a next phase, and he did that. So I wanted to mention that because um, it, it, meant, it really did mean the world to me. And so. that's, uh, I wouldn't expect anything less, you know, because that's the guy that we know and that's the guy that we dealt with uh, for 10 years. And like I said, he'll be back. I don't know where. It seems like, you know, uh, in this industry, uh, guys go through things like this from time to time, and they end up finding their way back. And I know that uh, he has a lot of fans out there, and someday he will find his way back. Now, in, in lieu of that, we have to still continue to do what well, we do. Well, of course, and, and it's not – I know people are going to naturally make the comparisons to what the show was and what it is. And the goal here is to continue to be great, continue to serve the listeners as you guys have, be entertaining, give the sports, be passionate about it. Right. All that is the goal. The goal isn't to be better or worse or the same or what it was. The goal is to be great, and I really do believe that we are going to be great. Every single day when you turn us on, you know what you're going to get, and uh, I know people will like it. Well, the other thing, too, is is that you're not playing shortstop and you're not leading off unless mm. you lose some weight. By the way, can you <laughs> play softball? Oh, of course. Yeah, I play no, high school baseball. Oh, here we yeah. go. Everybody here play we go. softball. Here no, we go I can. Okay. I can. You want to put them through the, uh, the paces and ask them some questions? Uh, no, Why I don't, not? because that's your job. <laughs> uh, what position do you play? Uh, I played third base in high school. Oh, good. Uh -oh. We could use a third baseman. Yeah, I played third base Definitely in high school. Definitely use a third baseman. Um, uh -huh. I also pitched, but I, I'm not no, a no, softball pitcher. No, we don't need a pitcher. pitcher. We're fine. Uh, I can play any of the outfield positions. A middle infield right now, way too fat for that. Okay, I can't right. move so around. So you want to be, be a lumbering corner. first baseman. Right, right. Could be a lumbering first baseman. Okay. I could do that. Outfield. You can't move. Uh, no, 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 no. You're, you're you not an outfield. You're, 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 you're right, fine. Third base. I know you say your your wife is your beautiful wife is watching. She's yeah. pregnant with your first child. That's right. Yeah. So uh, how much time are you gonna take off? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry wants to know. Uh, <laughs> actually, I don't. <laughs> the Jerry Fund. The Jerry uh, Fund. Yes. Oh, well, we'll see. Hopefully, everything's healthy, and I'll get right back at it. So now the other thing is that since you've gotten pregnant with her. Yeah. No, uh, I have. Uh, I know. So you, I know because she's. <laughs> you told me that she's like a. Uh, she's a workout. Person, she right? is. Oh, she loves working out. Constantly, so you know what yeah. that means. And that she means... looks at you like that. Uh, no, no, she she actually appreciates it. Really? really? Yeah, because he's eating right along with her. Right. Oh. It is what most of this, by the way, thing. got it. Most of this, by the way, is her fault because of what she makes me. Right. I'm telling her. Does I, she I, eat it too? She does, but she doesn't eat as much. That's oh, the thing. And then she, she also control. exercises, which I'm allergic to. So then you get what what we have here. So. Well, you got a nice shirt on today. You're yeah. in high definition on the CBS yeah, Sports great. Network. Awesome. Uh, she gets to see you up close and personal. Yeah. And, uh, you yeah, know, we can always do something about that if you'd like. Yeah. yeah no, no, I know. I will. I guarantee you. We got this I, new sponsor called NJ Diet. Yeah. I, I, you're awesome. you, you two could go on it together. Wait, what do you mean you two? <laughs> you could lose 50, you could lose I, 40. I could lose perfect. 50. What are you talking about? 50 what? or 15? Big fat boomer. <laughs> <laughs> what? Listen, Don't just, you want to be healthy at some point in your life? The little narps. Carlin already took the NJ diet. I already heard him out. He was shaking hands. He's like, hey, Chris Carlin, you NJ diet people? <laughs> Stupendous. <laughs> uh, I, I have the name of that show, by the way. It's Mike and the Mad Dog with Chris Barton Maggie. That's what uh, they're going to call it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what the, the new name is. So what, do you, what, do you, what do you think uh, Mad Dog's thinking about that? Um, Oh, my goodness. Did you read? You read the quotes, obviously. No, I, I haven't seen the quotes yet. You haven't seen them? No, I have not. Oh, I thought you'd be all over this this morning. I didn't even know that he was around doing uh, but it. Bud, <laughs> Bud's going to be a problem with baseball. He's not he's from Detroit. I don't know anything about it. He's not a New York guy. If he's talking Yankees, Red Sox, and stuff, I got I to gotta hear that to believe it. I got to hear that to believe it. And then Mike, of course, acted like nothing's going on. Right, you know, exactly. I don't know what they're doing. Okay, I don't know who they are. I don't know who I work for. I don't know who I am, okay? <laughs> so don't even expect, all right, for me to comment on this, okay? Because I'm not going to comment, okay? Because I'm not going to comment, because I'm not going to comment. So if you want me to comment, I'm not going to comment, okay? I'm not going to comment! We got it, okay? Yeah. You're not going to comment. That's great. It's awesome. I mean, how do you, how do you think, uh, how do you think they'll do? 
Those guys? Um, it's impossible to say. Just say good. I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you. I mean, be, I think, of course, the show is, is and I'm going to be rooting for it to do really, really well, but it's a difficult situation it's a, it's to a be diver, in. It's, it's actually, gonna, listen, you know, for the first time around here in a long time, it is truly a diverse show. Right, exactly. There's and I, no question about that. It will be a different sound. It will be a different take on things. Uh, it's not just going to be about, you know, Joe Girardi or Phil Jackson or anything. It's going to be a little right. bit more than that. I'll tell you that I have... I, I used to have Bard on once a week with the network show, and it was one of the most entertaining spots we ever did. Carlin is a guy that I talked about working with years and years ago when I was a producer. I always said, you know, it'd be really cool to work with Chris Carlin. And Maggie, I did one show with Maggie on the network that I remember that entire show because we had so much fun. So from that standpoint, putting them together, I think, will be great. But I don't want it. You can't see the thing is you can't set too high expectations on these things. It's, you can't it's, all, do that. it's all about chemistry. At the you end gotta, of the day, it's gonna, there's going to be great shows. There's going to be bad shows. There's going to be terrible days. There's going to be unbelievable not days. Not here. There's well, not, not here. Be. You know, of course. I'm just not. telling you right now, not here. Days. I'm not going to be accepting of that. <laughs> right. No. Listen, if you think I'm going to Mickey Calloway your ass, you got something else coming. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't expect, wait for you to play the first I, softball game. <laughs> I expect greatness out of you. Oh no, it'll be it'll be great. I mean, every I got to deal with the crap that you're from Bellport and all that other stuff. And I understand, you know, you're you're dealing with a short stick than I would be. But that, you know, I understand that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. In but more ways than but one, yeah. I know that I'm just saying I expect every single that I want your guitar in here. Yeah, of course. When you feel inspired to sing a song, I want you to sing a song. Whatever, yep. whatever, you know, gets you going. I want you to get moving. Yeah, well, I will. I'll bring the guitar in every day and Al's taking piano lessons. So we'll bring a little keyboard there. We're gonna put a band together. Um, what do you this taking, show's going to move to the Adorama Theater within <laughs> yes, a month. Exactly. Al has been taking uh, piano lessons for like seven years no, now. No, self-taught. <laughs> On the YouTube videos. On the iPad. He's good at it, too. Yeah. What, on the iPad or on the actual piano? Oh, actual piano, yeah. You are like, give me a song you can play. Can you play any, like, Elton John songs? Chopsticks. I can play, um, uh, well, not El not that Elton John. A little bit <laughs> of Elton uh, no, John. Uh, what other Elton <laughs> Candle in the wind? <laughs> I can do, uh, what's that, um, uh... Yeah, I can't remember which one. <laughs> okay. uh, what do you practice on? What do you play when you're practicing? I practice, like, Bruce Springsteen songs. Oh, Bruce Springsteen. Uh, train, train. Well, you do drops of Jupiter. Very drops well. of Jupiter. Yes, he does. He does. Counting yes. crows. I wow. can play. I think I heard Lionel you, I, Richie. I remember you sitting down at the. Where were we when you sat at? The, was that Mohican Sun? You sat at the uh, piano. No, wasn't that the uh, the Irish we? pub for uh, St. Patrick's Day? No, that did not go well. Uh, oh. Maybe in Las Vegas, I was playing. Uh, oh, maybe piano. It was Las Vegas. I remember you sitting at the piano and freezing. I'm like, are you I did freeze. Something? Are you gonna play something? Yeah, what no, yeah, Jerry's that? right. That was at a live appearance. I froze at the piano. Yeah, <laughs> oh, you did. Okay. that was the Irish pub on St. Yeah, Patrick's Day. The, the pressure where I actually saw people. You oh. don't really work <laughs> well in crowds, do you? I do not do <laughs> well in vodka, crowds. He does. Well, with vodka, you do. Yes. I understand. Then you, then you become a different person. I'm that's, telling you. That's why I chose radio. Yeah. Small box where no one sees you. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but there's nothing more terrifying than playing an instrument in front of people, though. Even even more so than this, like being on the radio. There's nothing. So I, I agree with it. You can clam up real quick. Have you uh, have you have you seen Joe and Evan around? I have, yeah, I have. Are, uh, how how is their morale? Are they pissed that they didn't no, get the afternoon? Show? I'm a loser. I, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I know Joe was very upset that he had to work until two o'clock today because I don't think that might have changed. He was flying because the event tonight, the yeah. event he's going to, and he was cursing everybody yesterday. Why was so, he cursing everybody? Uh, because uh, he just it was screwing up his whole schedule. See, I don't know. I mean, Joe, got to remember, I produced that show. So those guys are very happy for me. Right. Um, and I don't think that they, I don't think that either one of them thought that this would be an opportunity for him in the morning. And I think Evan, quite honestly, is like really happy to be working with Joe for another three years. And he's in his spot. I don't, I don't see Evan as a guy that's like, oh, my God, this opportunity slipped through my fingers in two afternoons. I actually genuinely believe that he's happy he to remain He wants to go to Met games every night at 7 right. o'clock and not be fighting traffic. And now everything right. stays the same Yeah, and Joe him. has yeah. to work every day now until 2 o'clock. He probably's not going to be very happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Max for 25 bucks a day, right? <laughs> I know. Basically, think about yeah, that. I think you that was the, in parking. the initial offer, I think, might have been that. Actually. It might have been. <laughs> well, you listen to Greg Giannotti. He's going to be my new partner here. I'm not sure when you're starting today. They tell you well, or it not? said. Look on the TV. Yes. It says one, I think January second. Well, that's, yeah. that, that's only because I told them that. Right. Oh. But I, but I was guessing. I was because I haven't been well, told though. anything. So I, okay. do, th I right. do think that is the official start. Is that okay. going to be the official start date? Well, that'd be great. Well, congratulations, Greg. We well, start new. Yes, we start no. new. No, so get you, out Greg. of that chair, and Jerry, you get in that yes, chair. Yes, sir. As we move on here, and then uh, Greg, I'll talk to you afterwards. Right? Yes, yes, sir. I will be uh, hanging around the power chair. Goes back to Jerry for the time being. Okay, sounds good, brother. Thanks.